Okay, so I got this E350. Unic makes this UTEC. UTEC is Axo Noble. There's just like uh, salt. I don't know. So anyway, this stuff's pretty, this is old. I bought some new stuff. But I want to use up my old stuff first. And I ran this in the shaker because my shaker does go down a quart size, I'm happy to say, because I didn't know it did, but it does. So anyway, I got this back back when I bought this was 33 bucks. Now it's 42 bucks. Anyway, so it's still epoxy. Even on the outside of the can, it's still gooey. You know, without the hardener, it doesn't harden up. It doesn't dry. It's a different process than drying. You know, when you paint your wall in your bathroom, you want the paint to dry, and that's what it does. But this stuff's epoxy. It actually doesn't dry. It hardens. I mean, it'll lose some of the evaporatives in it and then get gooey and sticky like this is, but it typically doesn't dry. So I've got a half a quart here, and I know I'm going to use at least that much. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this whole thing up. Now, this is a two to one ratio on this. Two parts of this. So one quart would go to a half a quart of hardener, basically. Or if, to make it easier, if I was mixing up two quarts of this, I would just use one quart of hardener. But since I don't have that lucky little happenstance going on, I got about a half a quart here. But I'm going to use this gizmo right here because it tells me up here in the graduation. Two to one. So if I go up to the line five, I just go to the line five on that and I come out with the same amount. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the two amount. I'll probably add it up to, I don't know, I'll see how much is in here. I'll probably just use it all. See how much is in there, see where it goes to, and then I'll go to the one mix line and try to match it. Sticky stuff. Oh, this ain't going to be any good at all. Solidified at the bottom. Oh yeah. Hard as a rock. Sometimes I let this stuff sit around too long. See that? Oh my gosh, look at this. Now, if, if the shaker would have shook it up and it mixed in, I'd use it, but this this has just gone to crap. So I guess some of their warnings on, uh, on shelf life and things like that are real. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to new stuff. What a bummer. Okay, let's try that again. I got some fresh new primer. Uh, now I'm debating whether I can use the old hardener. Yeah, probably not. Probably would be a bad idea. I'll just crack into the new hardener and stop being so darn cheap. So let me open this thing up. All right, what's this stuff like? Ooh, it's got a whole different smell to it. Oh, and the stick goes right to the bottom. But there are some solids on the bottom. Just a little bit at the bottom. I'm seeing some solids, so i got to try to scratch that up. Might have been sitting on the shelf a while, too. I don't know. All right. Now, I wonder what the consistency of this is. I don't know which nozzle to use on my gun. I'll wait till I get it mixed up, and then I'll see, because I don't want to reduce it. I'm just supposed to do the two-to-one with it. So we'll see what happens. But, yeah, that's right there. I think what I'll do is stir it up, throw it back in the shaker, give it a good shake, see what that does for us. There's even ribs in the jaw, so if I get it right in the right spot... The ribs will hang on to the can for me. Snug it down. All right, let's plug it in. This is my awesome switch. I just plug it in. I know it's not what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm doing. Here we go. Well, that's probably been about two minutes. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, we got everything pretty shook up now, I think. We'll open it up here in a second. I just got thinking, there's another way I could uh, do the two to one. If I want to mix half a quart, which would be 32 ounces, if I took it up to the 16 ounce line, and then after that, filled it, added eight more ounces, which would be half of 16, up to the 24 then, right? Am I correct? Yep, 16, to eight would be 24. That would give me a two to one mix too. Looks looking a lot better now. A little bit of extra mixing didn't hurt. So I'm gonna pour this up to the 16 ounce mark, which is that line right there. And then we'll add the hardener up to the 24 ounce mark. And does the level change much by the mix stick? Probably not a lot. I need to put a hole in the rim of the paint can. That way it'll, all the stuff that's in the rim now will drain back into the can itself. And it really doesn't affect the way they close. So I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm just a hair above the 16 mark. And that puts me on my 2 to 1 mark. It puts me, yeah, it puts me nowhere that makes any sense. But that's okay because we know what we're doing. We're going to get a 2 to 1 mix here. Okay, I hate these childproof caps. They're really adult proof. I got the little ring I got to pull, which I hate doing that too, because it always they always splash or I pull a fingernail off or something. <gasps> Maybe I can use a tool. Let's see. Maybe this will work better. Oh, it did. Okay. Right up to the 24 mark. Maybe just a hair more because my 16 mark is high too. Yep, that'll do it. 
Close this can up nice and tight. That way if I have to get another quart of this stuff, I got enough hardener already. And I'm just gonna stir gently till I get a nice mix. La 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 Ooh, it doesn't mix down very thin. It seems like it's gonna be kind of thick. Uh oh, I'm not sure what to reduce it with. Probably a little universal urethane reducer. That's going to be a little thick. I can tell by the way it's sheening off the stick. But I think it'll go through the gun, the 1.9. So it looks like we're going to be using the 1.9 gun. I'm just guessing, but I think I'm guessing right. Who knows? Yep, I think I got to mix up. Okay, I got to go get my strainer, set up my gun, get things ready to go, and start priming. Okay, guys, PPP includes this old, I don't know, it's like a Tyvek windbreaker, probably some runner had it at one point or something. I don't know where it came from, but I use it anyway. It fits me perfect, and it's got tight there, and it's tight around the waist. It's got a waistband. So try to keep them fumes off my skin and out of my shirt. And of course, respirator mask. Try to keep most of the junk out. I know one thing, if I use this, which I have to use it. When I use this, I don't wind up feeling high as a kite after using this stuff because, you know, these solvents, uh, they, uh, they get to you. And I'll probably throw my hat back on to keep my hair back, so. PPP or TPP, what is it? P, T, I don't know what it is. Anyway, a little bit of protection.
I got a little bit left in the cup. I'm gonna look around and see if I missed any spots. Well, it looks like I got the thing pretty well coated. One coat, like a medium to heavy coat. I think that's good enough. Got all the bare metal coated, and I got 72 hours to tap coat it before the end of the world. Yeah, you don't have to sand this stuff if you can avoid it, so. If you stuck around this long, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys on the next one.